I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play Micro Macro Crime City. It's ages 12 and up, one to four players, and it takes about 15 minutes per case. Let me show you how to play. The goal of the game is to solve the various crimes they give you. They have envelopes for you to put the 16 different cases into. They have indications on the markings on them about how um, appropriate they are for um, playing with children, the content of the case. To start, I don't want to spoil any of the cases inside of the box, so we're going to work together to solve the case that's on the cover of the box. Um, and you're supposed to figure out who murdered the burger vendor. Um, first, you look around, you find the burger sign, you see the burger vendor working, and I know this is difficult to see in the video, uh, it's difficult to see in real life as well. It is tiny. Uh, the key part of this game is there are multiple images of the same character and it's just different moments of time. So you see the burger vendor, then you see him walking out the door with um, a bag that he's holding and you see a bunny lurking, looking at him. And then you follow along to find him again. He's about to cross the street. Um, come over here and you can see him walking again, bad bunny hanging out by the side of the uh, building. And uh, he crosses here, still has the bag, and oh, he is laying down. He appears to have been murdered, and there's a bat beside him, and the bat's been ditched. And then you see the um, bunny walking off with the loot. So, aha, the bunny committed the crime. Case closed. This is the entire board or um, big sheet of paper that you fold out to play with. It is 75 centimeters by 110 centimeters, which is about two, two and a half feet by about three and a half feet. Uh, it is very large. It does not fit on a standard card table. Uh, but all you do for the different cases is they have an introductory card where they tell you to look for um, something in particular. And you find that, proceed from there. If you ever have trouble or you get a clue wrong, there are coordinates on each of the cards. So they might say, um, it might say what's happening, but it also have F1 on the card. And then you can go and look and find uh, section F1 and you can find it in there. And then that helps you kind of get your bearings and proceed accordingly. Um, but everything you need to do to solve all of the crimes are just out in plain sight on this map. You just have to find them. and. The map itself has held up very well. Uh, it's just a piece of paper, but it's pretty durable. And we've played through almost twice now, and uh, it, it still doesn't have any uh, rips or stains. And so it is, it is more durable than you might think. So that's how to play Micro Macro Crime City. The target demographic for this game is people who like Where's Waldo, but want some crime, throw it in. Uh, I'd also say this is an amazing co-op game for two people, ideally two people is really what it works best for, um, with good eyesight. Uh, it's pretty tiny, it really matters. They have a magnifying glass to kind of help, but if you don't have uh, very good eyesight, you're not, not going to enjoy the process quite as much. Uh, the rule complexity is low. Uh, we did not even look at the rules before we played the first time, and we had an amazing, wonderful time uh, with just a few content surprises. Uh, when I played with my 10-year-old son, uh, I just uh, hadn't realized what some of the storylines were going to be, and it was fine, but it was just a little bit of a surprise. Uh, the uh, how competitive is this game? It is cooperative, so it is not at all competitive, unless you're the type of person that's going to be racing to find clues against somebody else. Uh, and it's also um, quite challenging, especially once you get to the upper level cases at the end of the book, you feel at the end of the um, uh, the 16 cases that are included with the, the game, once you get to the last few, uh, you feel very accomplished once you have solved what happened for those. Uh, the replay value is low because there are only 16 cases and once you know them, you know them. Uh, that said, the game, after you've played it, you can just pass it on to somebody else to play. So in our house, 
I played through the entire game with our older son and my husband has been getting to play through with our oldest daughter and we have a few friends that are very excited to get to um, have this lent to them and try it out. So I feel like you end up getting your money's worth, people end up getting to play it enough, but uh, it is just one time that you get to play through it. Um, but on that note, similar games, they do have two follow-up editions of this, new boxes, new crimes, and uh, we were so into this, I think we were about four cases in and I went online and ordered the next box uh, because it's so well done and we were just having such a blast playing it. So you can do more if you like, um, but also uh, the unlock games, they have both adult ones and ones geared for kids, and those are kind of exit escape room type games. Uh, but you get to play them. It's cooperative and you play together. Um, and we have a kid's version that we still need to play and haven't gotten out yet, but I've heard amazing things. And then we have, uh, I'd also recommend the key games are, uh, not cooperative, but are, have the same kind of feel. And we have all three of those that are currently available. Uh, uh, Lucky Llama Land, Theft at Cliff Rock Villa, and Murder at the Oakdale Club. And those are really fun and kind of have sort of the same feel to me where you're getting different clues, you're putting together what happened in solving cases. But uh, this has just been so fun for us. In terms of content, I would check if you're a parent, it just depends on your comfort level. I would put it at about um, the, the show Murder She Wrote. Uh, with Angela Lansbury, I'd say it's around that, maybe just a, a smidge higher. So we're we're pretty cautious with our kids, and I was comfortable having my 10-year-old and 9-year-old play this with us. We had a fabulous time, so just know what you're getting into. It is really a fabulous game, so check it out. Thanks, and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.